Hello everyone, welcome to Alice and Anna, my name is Alice and today I want to talk to you about how to choose the right course for yourself at UAL. Let's go! So after Anna and I did a couple of videos in New Year, we've received lots of questions on Instagram and under the comments and stuff like that about how to choose a course at UEL and just like questions about our courses. So I thought it would be relevant to share with you how I ended up making my decision because I feel like my story is kind of interesting I guess. So number one, go on the website and read. <laughs> it sounds really simple and it sounds like, well duh, but yet we still get lots of questions like Ooh, um, is there this course? Is there that course? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an ambassador of UEL. I'm just a student and it's a huge university. There are six different col six different colleges. So I can't tell you, oh, um, yeah, there's this course and yeah, there's that one because I've no clue. <laughs> I think if you want to study at UEL, that means that you'll have to, you know, go through an interview to solidify and be like, oh yeah, I want to study this because of that and that. And to do that, you need to do your own research. And like, especially since you're gonna be at UAL, like, there's gonna be research in your course. And doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna be doing research. So you might as well start now <laughs> and go on the website and just start researching and start looking at what courses UAL has to offer in the first place. When I was looking um, at courses at UAL, I literally went on the website I clicked undergrad and I just scrolled through all of the pages and I would open the links and new tabs of the courses that sounded fun for me and then I would read about them and write them down and think about them. <laughs> you know, that's my BA, like I'm, this is a huge decision that you're making, right? I don't want it to be just because somebody told me that, you know, I should do this. No, I want to take make this decision myself, therefore, you know, you should take responsibility and and really <laughs> look into what you want, what you want to do. So go on the website and go through every single one of the courses to see what they have to offer. Obviously, you also need to read about them, really read about them. And personally, I recommend writing down like you know the course program and course structure. It's on every single course, <laughs> and if it, for some reason somehow it's not available for the course that you're interested in, there's always an email for inquiries somewhere on that page that you can email and be like, hey, can I have a, a course structure for this course I'm interested in applying? And they will email it for you because you kind of like, you know, you have to know that. So you can write down the course structure and just like listen to your gut, whatever feels right for yourself. And you kind of like, you know, start moving in the right direction, I guess. So after doing your reading and comparing the courses, you're probably going to realize that UEL offers a lot of courses that are very similar to each other, uh, to the point where you literally can't see the difference, and that's okay, <laughs> because it's true. For example, there's like graphic design and design of graphics or something, you know, or there could be film and television and film practice, and you read about it, and it sounds the same. This is where it gets tricky. This is gonna be the part where you'll actually have to talk to people. Yale hosts open days, I think four times a year if I'm right. Um, I don't wanna sound like that person, but if you have the opportunity somehow to come to London for that open day, I think you should do it. It's a very smart choice. Not only you'll be able to physically attend the school, and see where you will be studying for the next three years, you'll also get a chance to kind of look at London if you've never, first of all, if you've never been here before to just like be in London. Second of all, to look at London from a new perspective of a person who wants to live here, not just um, a visitor, you know, if you're not from London right now. As well as that, you might meet your future course mates and just overall talk to people and hear what they have to say, what they've learned. Maybe they know something that you don't know. And you know, when you go to an open day with those people, you'll hear, you know, <laughs> what, the, what they're saying. And I think that's just like really nice. So what I did um, when I was moving from Canada to the UK, 
I have scheduled all of my interviews, open days, visiting with the universities that I was interested in in one week and I flew down to London and just like every day I would go to a different place, to a different university, I had my interviews, like I had everything planned for me where I could just like go and visit places and see what it's actually like. I think it's really helpful and I think if you yell is your dream but you've never been to an open day and then you come and you study at somewhere like LCC for example, it's gonna be very heartbreaking because you've probably, you've seen CSM which is fantastic new, it's modern, but then you go to LCC which is kind of like it's a hole. I love my hole. It's amazing. I love LCC, okay? It has something. It has vibes. But I mean, that's it's LCC is not what UEL is famous for, so it will be a disappointment. Sorry, Michael just jumped at this tree. Visit an open day. If you can't come to London, that's completely fine. I think they do online open days as well, um, so you could do that. At least that's something, and I think it's really, really helpful. And now this is the part where you can start talking to people who currently study at the course that you're interested in. There's another cool thing, like YouTube. <laughs> I know I've seen at least four videos from different courses, like A Day in the Life or What, it, what It's Like Studying, blah blah blah, at UEL. There's my video on what it's like to study a direction at UEL, you know? There's like, there's lots of different videos on YouTube that will help you. So, do your research, really scout the internet and look for everything you can find because again it's better to know more than to know not enough <laughs> all right so you have your research you've memorized uriel's website you've talked to people you've learned everything there is to know you've been to an open day how do you make a choice if you're still conflicted my advice i mean anna would probably say that i'm being radical <laughs> But I think everyone should go to and do a foundation, yeah. The thing is that when we study in high school, and just overall in school in general, we're never being taught on how to spend, you know, how to study creatively. And it's kind of like a drastic change. Think about it this way. Your BA is gonna last for three years. It sounds like, oh wow, three years. But like, I'm in my third year now, <laughs> technically, you know, I just finished my second year. And after that, that's it. Off you go get a job, your education process is completed now, unless you want to do a master's, which is very scary. <laughs> so in those three years, let's take the first year. The first year you're gonna spend time getting to know London, getting to know people from your course, getting to know your course, what the hell you're doing, adjusting to the creative environment, adjusting to, you know, doing only creative approach of education, I guess, you know, like, and just like getting used to everything. This is what first year is, it's just getting used to things and climatizing, I guess. Then the second year is kind of like, oh, I know what I'm doing, but also work <laughs> because unis in second year is way more intense than the first year and you're kind of like working more on your projects because you also realize that you're in the middle of your BA so your entire first year you were just like getting used to things and then BAM you're in the middle of it <laughs> you have this year and then the third year and that's it the second year is technically the last year when you actually learn things and that's it because the third year is usually your final major project and dissertation and then you're done it's a very short program. I'd recommend taking a foundation year where you spend your whole foundation year on getting to know London and getting to know uni, everything, you know, and just like sort of like re recharging your brain from this like academic studying with a bunch of classes and like essays and homework and stuff like this to two classes in general, three classes a week and no homework whatsoever, just one major project every six months or sorry four months that's kind of like you know so you, you have this time during your foundation year to get used to that so that when you enter your first year you don't have to waste any of the time on acclimatizing you just go straight into studying and you can actually focus on your studies and your topic and your subject and your projects way more because you're not as excited to go out and meet people I mean, you're still very excited, don't get me wrong, because like, it's a completely new course and you actually get to meet your course mates with whom you're going to be studying for the next three years, but still it's not as like, overwhelming. Now, even though I think that 
everybody should do a foundation yet there are some there are some exceptions because I know some people who know what they want to do and they do it and they just want to solidify what they're doing it attention attention that's very different from having a dream very different okay here's my story I thought I was gonna be a film director I thought that that's what I wanted to do I thought I was gonna direct films or TV shows or something and this is it so when I started my foundation yeah I thought that I was gonna do film, I was gonna be a film director. And then I applied for a film program, I got in, but I also applied to a bunch of other courses because I had to fill in my, you know, UCAS 5 list and stuff like that, and I was like, mine, mine as well. And I applied for Art Direction because I, I, got, I went to an open day and I heard about this course and I was like, ooh la la, what is that? So when I had to put down my first choice and accept an invitation to study, I forgot the lingo, sorry. Very last minute, as I was sitting in front of my laptop, I was like, a psycho doodle do, I'ma do art that action, boy. And I did it. If it wasn't for my foundation year, and if it wasn't for that open day, I would have never probably known about this program, and I would never be where I am right now. And I'm very happy with my course, I really enjoy what I'm doing. And now thinking that I wanted to be a film director sounds so bizarre to me because that's not really me. <laughs> it's because I didn't know enough and I didn't know about all those other possibilities in the creative industry. Make sure that what you want to do is not what you dream of and rom romanticize in your head. Ask yourself, do I really know enough about this to say that this is what I want to do? Let's recap. Number one, go on the website, read everything you can read and go through every single one of the courses and pick the, read about them, choose the one that sound right to you, read about them and compare, write it down and see what the differences are. Number two, open days. Big event. Welcome home. I don't know how it's called. I think it's open day. Whatever. Go to open days. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Recommend it, 100%. Number three, research outside of UAL information. Go to YouTube, see people's vlogs, go to Instagram, see people's accounts, go to TikTok, actually, they do a lot of those as well. And then number four, number three, number four, do your foundation year. <laughs> it will help you decide <laughs> because you have this just like one year that you commit to a uni course. And after that, you can change your mind completely. And I think that's pretty much it. I know I've said in this video that it's like, it's a responsibility, blah, 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 blah. It's true because, you know, it is a new level. Like university is not high school and a lot of people fail to realize that when they come into the first year because you're responsible for yourself and you need to learn how to find information yourself and not rely on your teachers, your tutors, your course mates, your parents or anybody. No, you're an adult now and yeah. As well as that, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> it's not that scary because like it's life, you know, and life is what it is all about. If you end up choosing a course that you don't like, you can transfer. You can go to a whole different university as well. You know, like it's not like you're making a blood pact with the devil that will forever imprison your soul. No, <laughs> it's just a thing. And if you end up choosing a course that's not right for you, that's okay, that's completely fine. Oh my God, the lighting is just... I hope this somehow helped. I really, really do. Let me know if you have any more questions down in the comments below, if you have any thing that you want and then I talk about. And I hope you'll find what you're looking for and everything is well and swell and nice. Have a lovely, lovely week. And I'll see you all guys probably on Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking and commenting. We really appreciate it. Bye. Ciao.